All right, all right, all right. We got a Tuesday before us. And let's uh, hit first things. First, we got Red Book at 855. Case Shilling home price year over year at 9 o'clock. And then uh, new home sales at 10 o'clock. These are the things we should be watching. And I think I saw consumer confidence. Oh, there it is right there. Consumer confidence at 10 also. So these are a few market movers. We'll keep our eye on that. I don't really care what's going on on CNBC. Let's take a look at our first bit of futures. Okay, we're going to take a look at Earl first. No, oh, I screwed ourselves up here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lord, have mercy on me. There we go. Um, all right, so what are we looking at over here? We're looking at uh, the daily, and we have this inverted head and shoulders we're still watching. Um, we're watching for a break of this uh, trend line right here, first test right here, second test right there. But um, that's pretty interesting. Um, but on the, on the weeklies, we have a contradiction in opinion. We've got a bear flag that hasn't quite triggered yet. Um, it'll trigger at 92.88. So if you play in oil, watch that. If you're just worried about um, um, inflation, well, you know what? You see that trigger, and uh, down we go. I think we're going to bounce off the 84 mark anyway. Um, I don't think it's going to be that aggressive a move. I think it's just going to bounce off the 84 mark. I'm looking for it to consolidate around the 84 mark. Or maybe give me another high. Um, a lower high giving me a trend reversal, and then um, we might see something more aggressive. But for now, that's what we're watching, right? We got the weekly uh, bear flag. We got the daily inverted head and shoulders. And then we'll take a quick look at Senor Gold, and really nothing going on right there. You know, nothing going on on the uh, daily. We got a weekly run on stops that we're keeping our eye on. I think it's just uh, con being conservative. See, this is the run on stops. Breaks this. Psh, that's the entry right there. Breaks right here. Entry right there. So it looks like an inside day. Everybody's just waiting on the feds. And bonds. All about the bonds. Um, got a daily bull flag right here that triggers at um 142.930 seconds. Oh, look at that. And it challenged it, backed right off, didn't quite trigger. So we're watching that daily flag for the bonds, but we're watching the feds. I'm thinking we're going to trigger, we'll pop up, and the feds might knock it right back down again because interest rates go up, bond prices go down, right? And um, where's my Bitcoin? Yeah, Bitcoin's just holding in that consolidation. Could be a trend reversal. Looks like we might be putting in a lower low, a uh, higher low. So we'll keep an eye on that. There's nothing really going on. Nothing to excite me. I don't like that we broke that uh, resistance and traded back. But again, we could be putting in a trend reversal. This could be the retrace right there. And away it goes. So my entry here would be waiting for a daily hammer or to be very aggressive. You could even just take the break of the previous day's high. Um, so if we break here today, we could take that. Um, or conservative entry would be a break of this pivot high right there. And it looks like we're putting a little support. We did a couple of little tails testing this area. We'll see what it does tomorrow. Nothing too exciting right there. Everybody's just waiting on the Fed. Waiting on the Fed. And then, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got, let's take a quick look at Coinbase. Coinbase is going to look just like, yeah, Coinbase is doing the same thing. BTC is, this actually looks like a last kiss on Coinbase. That's interesting. I'm going to watch this. If I can get a hammer out of this, I'd like to take that uh, tomorrow. 
Momentum looks uh, bullish. We're looking at it daily. These are swing trades. Um, yeah, you know, last kiss is usually a really nice move. And then last but not least, um, we're looking at the ES. We got a daily flag. So we break yesterday's high today. And we should be looking uh, pretty good. Actually, what's interesting are the 240s. I gave me a 60. There's a 240 right there. 240s are still in an uptrend. So everything's looking kind of bullish. I think we're just going to pop up, maybe make a, a higher low. And then turn around. It's all about the Fed, folks. All about the Fed. So subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. I appreciate everybody coming in, stopping in. You want to support the channel. Um, some likes, some comments. That goes a long way monetarily. Um, if you could kick us a few bucks, that goes. Uh, that's greatly appreciated. Um, and uh, we could try to put a little more effort into the channel. Otherwise, tell me what you think, man. Tell me the direction we should go. A little conversation. So um, that's it, everybody. Uh, just be calm, cool, and at peace when you trade, and good luck with your trades.